Yes. Uh, vintage lovers are going to want to check out this local shop. It is adorable. Uh, Courtney is standing by with a ribbon store specializing all things e antique. I am telling you the truth. It is so stinking adorable. If you saw it before we went to a uh, commercial break, the outside of the, uh, the building. It's so cute. Magpie Antiques in Ribbon. We've got Janet with us this morning. Um, your style, my dear, is fantastic. And I can tell that it runs through the store. Good morning to you. Good morning to you as well. So tell us about the uh, types of pieces that you carry there. I know that you've got antiques, you've got fun um, uh, signs. I think the road signs to me are, are some of the cutest things, but what are some of your favorites in there? Well, I change this store up about weekly because I know I'm ADD. So I like <laughs> to bring in all new inventory. So people go, gee, I wasn't there like two days ago. I said, no. But we have a lot of, um, everything's pretty much antique. It can be repurposed. Some of it has been repainted. Um, we carry a lot of um, Victorian furniture, okay. um, different things that you can incorporate into your, your home and decor, garden, yard, um, all sorts of uh, different things. So Absolutely. we're known for a wide variety of inventory, yes. So I know a lot of people, when the pandemic hit, everybody was looking for DIY things to do, right? So I, I figure there's probably a lot of pieces in there that people might want to maybe refinish or, or paint as far as some of the furniture is concerned. What are some of the pieces that you have in there? Oh, absolutely. Uh, we have um, one dealer that specializes in the repurposing and painting of furniture. We have uh, buffets, we have dressers. We have primitive uh, that, God forbid, they painted, <laughs> but they're beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'd have a, I'd have a heart attack. <laughs> some, but something uh, should just yeah, retain their charm. See, you just can't do. I know, but it's a it's a wonderful store that has so many uh, different things. We have c camera collections and oh, wow. books. Very a lot of vintage books. Oh, fun. I'm loving this gardening look too. Yes. A lot of people um, also liking that kind of that farmhouse uh, appeal. Yes, yes. And um, we do have, that's where the repurposing comes in. Mm -hmm. I've, I've gone to some other antique stores, of course, that's where I like to shop. I'm at a thrifter. I like to go and, and, and purchase things that are authentic and bring into the store. And um, we have, I'm looking at a, a, probably a 1920s wool bathing suit, Stars and Stripes. And we're thinking that this could have possibly been one of the Olympic uh, ba uh, bathing suits at that time. Wow. And someone, somebody saw it on our Facebook and called their, their uh, credit card in and it's already sold. So, <laughs> I love um, it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. We do, a, we do a lot of that as well. Oh, so, fun stuff. I, I, when you mentioned the pandemic, I was closed for six weeks. And uh, when we reopened, um, we started with people 10 an hour and whatnot, but it was my best year ever. And a lot oh, of antique wow. stores I've talked to said last year was their best year because people wanted to get out. Yes. They wanted to bring things into their home and repurpose because they were stuck but we were not stuck here. I, I love it. Well, I'm <laughs> so glad that we got a chance to take a little peek in there. It's Magpie Antiques. You've got to go spend some time there. It's in Ripon. We're going to put all the details for the location and where you can find them on social media on our website, GoodDaySacramento.com, under show info and today's date. I guarantee you, you will not be bored going to Magpie <laughs> oh. Antiques. That is such a fun spot. Thanks, Janet. Cody, back over to you.